Assalam o Alaikum students. Today we are going to read next lesson of English Grammar Class 7. Open your books at page 10. And our topic is number of nouns. As we know noun is a name of place, person or thing. But nouns have different forms to show whether they mean one object or more than one object. Nouns that stand for only one are said to be in the singular number. That nouns that are used for one thing are called singular number. And the nouns stand for more than one are in the plural number. And the nouns which are used for more than one are called plural numbers. Now we are going to read the ways or rules for converting singular into plural. The usual way is by adding s to the singular. Mostly we insert s for making singular into plural like flower, flowers, girl, girls, boy, boys. And the second rule is there are certain words as church, dish, brush to which es is added to form the plural number. We insert es at the end of these words and convert into plural. Words ending in Y have the Y changed into I before ES is added. So sometimes words which are ending in Y, we insert I before inserting ES like baby, it will change into babies. And Y will change into IES, army, armies and fly flies. Words ending in O have ES added to form the plural. Some words which end ends with O, we insert ES to make them plural like hero, heroes, potato, potatoes. You can see the spellings. Rule 5. Several nouns have the words changed to form the plural like men, men, tooth, teeth, mouse, mice. Sometimes words ending in Y. Preceded by the vowel only adds s. Sometimes the words which are ending in y but is preceded by vowel like o. It is preceded. Uh, y is preceded by o. Boy will convert into boys. Day, days. Some words ending in o only adds s like piano, pianos, solo, solos. And some nouns have the same form of both the singular and the plural numbers. Sheep, deer, trout, cod, dozen, etc. Sometimes we use same singular and plural. We use same words. For example, sheep, we will use sheep for singular and sheep for plural. Deer for both same trout we are going to use for singular and plural as well some nouns cannot be used in the singular numbers like caesars spectacles gallows measles etc we always take them whether they are plural or singular we always take them in plural form like caesars we insert s at the end although we have to take it into singular in compound words only the principal word is changed from singular to plural. Son-in-law will convert into sons-in-law. Maid-servant will convert into maid-servant. So, the in compound words, principal word will only change. So, it is enough for today. Thank you.